Hello guys, my name is Max, I'm a photographer and videographer and let's talk today a little bit about how to make your drone footage more cinematic. Today we'll not talk about some technical stuff like exposure settings or ND filters, it will be more about practice, so I'm just gonna give you a few tips that are quite essential in my opinion. So tip number one is planning. This is I think the most important thing. So arrive to your location and plan all the shots, all the mini shots before you will take off. So it can be like, um, okay, I'm gonna fly over that rock or over that mountain, then I will have a low level flight over that lake and quad will face the sun or maybe quad will face opposite uh, side of the sky. And then I will orbit around my friend, you know. Imagine every shot in your head, remember it, and then you may prepare your drone to take off and actually take off. Because mind the flight time uh, that your battery can allow you. And don't shoot everything in one big file. Every of those mini shots should be stored in separate files. It's very good idea to explore the area and plan your shots in advance. For example, for sunset, flying and shooting, uh, you can arrive to your location uh, in the midday and explore it. Planning is uh, also about sunrise or sunset time, sun position and getting to your location in the proper time. And there are plenty of different uh, mobile applications and websites uh, that are really handy for that purposes. I use a few of them and they are really handy for uh, common photography as well. So check the weather forecast, wake up early, hike up to that mountain and launch your drone. Okay, so tip number two is proper lighting conditions. Uh, it's often said that sunrise and sunset um, are the best periods of time for shooting. And it's true, there's no surprise here. Uh, it's a little bit tricky to expose your image properly in those conditions uh, because of high dynamic range. And uh, I personally expose my image in a way when I blow out uh, the sun disk only. Uh, of course, in case if the sun is included in my shot, I use Zebra to figure out uh, what I'm exactly blowing out. Uh, we like sunsets and sunrise because of uh, a colorful sky, because of soft shadows when it uh, looks not so harsh like uh, in the midday, for example but good light can happen also in the midday so when for example sunlight is penetrating nicely through clouds when there are some special conditions so it depends on mood of your shot uh, you can shoot in midday as well and please also don't forget about civil twilight this is pretty short period of time uh, right after sunset or right before sunrise when the sky can be incredibly colorful with those beautiful pinkish clouds and you're still able to take footage with a decent quality with your consumer drone like DJI Mavic for example. As far as I know the duration of uh, Seville Twilight depends on latitude and season. I'm not gonna stop on different cinematic drone shots or movements like reveal shot, course lock, orbiting, cause there are many great tutorials on YouTube already, so please check them out. Include people or other objects to your shot. Uh, they can be the main part of uh, your footage or uh, they can, for example, participate as additional element and emphasize some features of your landscapes, like uh, the size of your scene. In golden hour you should fly low because uh, otherwise a silhouette of your human or other subject can be easily blended with shadow of land. So what I mean is a uh, silhouette should probably have a uh, sky on background so you can or someone else can uh, easily distinguish people or other subjects. If you want to fly closely to your objects and make more precise movements, consider tripod mode for more accurate controlling. And the last tip, add dynamic to your shot. It's, it's not necessarily about flying fast, you may fly slowly, but just add foreground to your shot. 
It can be, for example, building or part of relief like rock, for example. Uh, so generally add foreground to your shots. Do not fly too high, but make sure you have enough clearance between your foreground and your drone. And experiment with speed. It's often said that slow and steady will win this race, but fast flying and sudden appearance of new objects in your shot can also add value to your work. So we didn't talk anything about uh, post-processing in today's video and I have a bunch of different interesting suggestions for post-processing as well. Anyway, I hope you like these tips. Uh, bye for now and hopefully I'll see you guys later.